Hello, me again. My hot house is here. Check it out. Cool beans, huh? It's not very big, but that's okay. Okay, so I wanted to show you. I'll be doing this with you guys too. Uh, probably once a week. Anyway, on this row right here, all the way across, and then again, all the way across, I'm going to have a two foot shelf that comes out. On the bottom, I'm going to put a one by two down here and I'm going to fill this bottom part here with pebbles. The reason for that in a hot house, as opposed to a greenhouse, is see it has the automatic windows. When it gets hot, they open and when it gets cold, like right now, they close on their own. I do have some other windows, but when it's really hot in here, what you do is you come by and you take, I have a, a little, I use squirt bottles or yeah, those jugs right there. And I just put holes in the top, which I haven't done it yet. But you just, you just stick the holes in the top here, a bunch of little teeny holes, and you turn it upside down and you just kind of, you know, go over your rocks. And what that does is the rocks are really hot from no circulation in here, really. And it gets really, really hot. And if you go ahead and you put the water on it, it creates steam, kind of, you know, condensation in here. And that's what will keeps your plants watered. You don't have to have a sprinkler system or anything like that. But as you can tell, I'm really getting all my stuff together. I have got, oh, and I like to use these plastic spoons for markers. You know, they're cheap, they cost a dollar. And I just take my magic marker and I write on the back of it and stick it in the plant. Because the little things they come with, sometimes I lose those, or sometimes if they give them and they're kind of a cardboard material, they just wilt or whatever. Here's my mushrooms. They came in the mail. Oh, look at that. These are my mataki mushrooms. And I have a separate I have a separate place for doing these. It's a hothouse inside a hothouse. And it's made of plastic, you know, real thin. No, well, I think it's, I don't remember where the mill it is, but I just set this up. I'll be setting that up right here in this area. I'll be setting that up right here, and that's where my mushrooms are going to go. If they need special, special care, and we'll get into that later. But right now, today, what, I, what I'm going to do is I went, and plant, I went and took all my seeds and divided them. I was like, oh, boy, I got a lot of work to do. So now I've mixed up my compost and my starters. And you notice I use the natural stuff, the organic stuff. Anyways, I have a compost bin starting out there. And then I'll take this that I've mixed together. And it's just seed starter and um, my potting mix. Whenever they um, bulldoze around here or anything like that, I'll grab the best looking dirt and throw it in a box. <laughs> so... <laughs> And then I can I can add, if it doesn't have enough nitrogen in it, I can go ahead and add some Epsom salts or something like that. I you do use I do use Epsom salts once in a while because it does get rid of a lot of bugs. And I also put a half a cup of diatomaceous earth in my potting soil. I do that all the time. So this is going to go into here. All of these. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. You would not believe all the seeds I have in there. Oh my goodness. But this whole one side hanging up here, I'm gonna go ahead and hang some, I'll put some nails up there and then I'll use some of my wire and I'm gonna hang my, my all my herbs are gonna go, well, from that corner to that corner, that corner to this corner, and then that corner to this corner, and this corner to this corner. Cause remember this center piece here is gonna be for my mushrooms. And this side will all be the vegetables. Same rule applies. I'll do the smaller ones up here. And then I was going to show you guys something. Oh, well, here. And then I'll put those in here. I put holes in the bottom of them and I stick them on this table for now until I get my shelves built. Lots to do. Lots to do. Okay, this one comes with a light. The gentleman that built it for us put in two windows. He said it was way too hot, so I just gave you windows. I was like, oh. Anyway, so coming back out here, we've kind of changed our plans a little bit. We don't really, we didn't have a choice because remember it flooded over here? All this was flooded to that dark mark right there. 
and it was right at the chicken line, or at the chicken coop line. So we're gonna go ahead and move the chicken coop. And I've decided what I'm gonna do is just move it back a little bit to that tree. We're gonna move it back, and here's where I'm gonna put my corn, my viney stuff, my corn, my peas, my, my beans. So, and I don't mind late starting. It doesn't matter here because we, we don't get enough rain, but we don't usually get our freeze till later. So I'm not really worried about it. And I did this last time and had a really good crop. So we'll just leave it. And see this way, what's nice about it is it already has the wires here. Of course, without the spider webs. Go away, spitter. Um, but it'll vine up here. I can vine these up here. Hey, chicky, chicky, chickies. Hey, chicky, chicky, chickies. The chickens like it when I get them greens. You know, they can eat all kinds of, you know where your vegetables are done at the end of the year, at the end of the season? You can turn around and give your chickens a lot of this stuff. Hey, chicky, chicky. And they answer to chicky, chicky. <laughs> Sarah named that one Stella. Stella's a brat. She will actually bite you, or peck you. Chicky, 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 chicky. Anyway, so, Okay, so we talked to, Denny and I were talking, and we talked to the guy that's going to go ahead and move us back, because the company we bought the house, the property from, he came out here and assessed it and said that he suggested that we go back behind the sheds. Oh, I don't know if you guys can even see me, sorry. So we go back behind the sheds. Back there right close to that cedar tree. That's where the RV is gonna go, right there. And then we'll have all this gravel stuff like this so we can drive on it. And that'll pull us up at least four feet, five feet from where we were. I mean, elevated at least four or five feet. So in the event that happens again, we're not gonna lose anything and we're not gonna get wet, hopefully, hopefully. And they're gonna have to build a road. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay, so see down there? That's gonna be the road coming in then. I think it'll be much easier because that, that beginning part in the front all floods, totally floods. They totally lied to me when they sold me the property. Hey, booger, booger. I'm gonna call him George. <laughs> anyway, okay, so when they do, see that trail? I'll take you to that trail. See this trail right here? Now don't forget, the camper is gonna go right there, okay? All that'll be pushed back that way. Camper's gonna go right here. This is all gonna be open. And I have to put someplace in here, I have to put the, or I can leave it up front. The uh, fire pit. Listen to me. I just, you know, it's too early in the morning for me. I'm not used to getting up until like 10, 11 o'clock. Stay up till 3 or 4 in the morning. But for some reason, I'm jumping out of bed. Don't know why. Okay, so, see this area right here? Well, this right here is where we're going to put the chicken coop. We're going to put this here, chicken coop here, and then the dog coop on, the dog run on the other side. The reason for that is... Their gate won't be closed. You know, the dogs won't. Chicken coop will. But that way, in the event something comes out here at night to get the chickens, the dogs will be closer. You know, they can go after them like last night. I don't know what was going in there, but the chickens were going crazy and the tank went nuts. He went flying over there. I didn't hear anything, but... Ooh, good morning. This is not beautiful. Anyway, I gotta cover that thing. What happens if that water comes all the way up here and gets into my well? Hmm. Point to ponder, huh? I don't have any idea what to do, but <laughs> if it floods that much, oh my goodness, the guy we bought it from and I are going to have a war. Anyway, well, I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna get started on the hot house today. I gotta get some of these seeds started. Some of them I have in um, paper towels. I spray water and peroxide on them, 
let until they germinate. It makes them germinate faster. And then I'll come in once they start germinating and put them in the plants. But there are some I'm just going to, there are just some seeds right now that I don't do that with that I'm going to go ahead and plant. So I won't show you that. I'll go ahead and get busy and I'll show you guys a little bit later when they grow. Okay, love you, bye.